Hi there, Cosmic Family. My name is Elia in this incarnation. Today, I want to leave a reflection linked with the events that we are having these days. We have to remember that this is not about one day. This is um, uh, a development, you know, the, the manifestations of the eclipse. So um, we are approaching uh, Mercury retrograde. We, we will have an opportunity to process uh, all the things that we are transiting right now and the things that we will transit <laughs> because... Uh, Beyond that, uh, that Mercury retrogrades, retrograde includes the, um, the next lunation. Uh, we are going to continue seeing the, the culmination, the endings in, in, in our uh, Libra area of our natal chart uh, that in big part are associated with, with relationships and people that accomplished a cycle. And we are going to experiment at the same time the impulse uh, to act with initiative and independence in our uh, areas area, <laughs> areas area of our natal chart. That, um, well, these, these themes are very linked with the next eclipse, among other things. That is going to be very, very powerful. The impact of that eclipse is, um, is bigger than this one. Um, so something that I mentioned yesterday is this fact that Saturn is in conjunction with both regions uh, is something very, very syn synchronic in these times, you know, because this is something that I explained uh, a lot in, in other videos. But Saturn in astrology is called the, the uh, Sir of Karma, <laughs> uh, the Master of Karma. And there where it presents in our natal chart... Uh, with the aspects that it can possess, uh, there is a, an energetic depth in a certain way. So mm, the, the many experiences that could be frustrating, painful, present in that area, and uh, they require a lot, uh, a lot of responsibility for us, dedication and discipline to transcend those, um, those experiences and to, to learn to acquire the lessons of Saturn. But at the same time, that takes us to to the mastery that leads us uh, to you know if we really do the work uh, great um, achievements are materialized you know the 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 top of the efforts that we you, we've been investing and even we could you could we could turn authorities in that matter in in the area we, where we have saturn so eclipses are are moments of uh, of karmic energy because the, the sky is aligned uh, you know activating specific points is something very wonderful to to see to experiment and and sorry um this this added added thing uh, about venus and mars in conjunction with saturn in pisces both of them represent the polarities the feminine and the and the masculine polarities so uh, we have an opportunity to make big corrections. I, I use this term of, of Kabbalah to create inner unity. This is Pisces. You, total unity is something that doesn't exist in this plane, but uh, we can approach to that every time the labor is linked with that. Uh, and this is happening to accelerate processes. We have to remember that this uh, lunar eclipse in Libra had has a, a sextile with... Um, Pluto in Aquarius. So Pluto in Aquarius is bringing this acceleration uh, for the manifestation of these dreams of the soul that are linked with Pisces, you know, with Venus in Pisces and also Mars. Uh, so these dreams, a uh, big part of these dreams are are uh, for many people, you know, are linked with these unions of the new earth. Uh, this conscious relationships that can potentiate um, each other because of the love they share and because with their purposes, individual and the, and the shared ones, the mission, the shared missions, they are here to expand the light on, on the planet. So there, there are millions of souls that are approaching this path uh, in different ways. I mean, uh, there are people that are in a process, there are uh, others that are about to meet again, <laughs> you know, and there are others that are in that union and that are expanding themselves, expanding their missions. So this path certainly requires 
uh, a lot of courage, a lot of bravery, uh, requires transcend profound fears because when we are crossing them, we are allowing the recognition of love in, in purest and purer ways. And that love is, of course, what manifests in the, in the, in the mirrors. And that is the energy, the force that certainly uh, creates heaven on earth. So that is the force that impulses us to continue on the path and to do our part in these times of redemption. Because we have to uh, remember that these events that we are experiencing right now are, um, are part of a major big cycle, which is the end of the era of Pisces and the beginning of the Aquarius age. So, well, I just wanted to leave this reflection today. Thank you, everyone, and see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.